Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Rad Kutarot and this is going to be Capricorn Sun, Capricorn Moon and Capricorn Rising monthly tarot reading for January 2019. So that being said, while I'm shuffling the cards, I want to remind you once again guys that this is a general reading for Capricorn star sign, therefore it's going to uh, resonate differently and on a different level with every single different Capricorn. Uh, on this planet. So for that reason in this video I will try my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards and as well their synergy in the spread but at the end for a maximum accuracy you have to help it and uh, align it to your personal situation. Now if you want me to do that for you just like I'm doing here in the examples of this, of this video uh, you have to go for a personal reading with me and to do so you can check out my website listed down below in the, in the description of this video and there you can find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So apart from that this is going to be a, a five card enhanced tarot spread and enhanced tarot spread means that we are going to draw multiple cards per position or in this case couple of cards. So these are the main cards and the additional cards are called are called catalysts or clarifiers some people like to say it and they are read uh, according to the method of elemental dignities. So Capricorn it does look like that this is going to be a, a quite of a month for you here from these cards and it looks like that you are going to embark on a new road. We do have the Seven of Swords in the main position, Page of Cups into the uh, attitude or rather like intentions or the best possible course uh, to the situation. Then we do have the Four card which is the challenges causing predicaments, having the Knight of Pentacles on the Guidance card and the last one this is going to be the Eight of Cups. So for what it seems this is an attempt to make a difference in your life, an attempt to truly embark on a new path. How this attempt is going to turn out for you we are going to see in this uh, reading. So with the Seven of Swords as a uh, topic of the we of the month excuse me and the Lover's card here as a, a catalyst, it does look like that you are going to be quite baffled about the what kind of a, a really uh, what should what you should do from from now on regarding to your situation, either in a relationship or either in a career or maybe in a both places. What these cards are pointing that one of the options in front of you will really serve you well. But unfortunately, you taking on that option, it kind of like it seems that you are to betray someone else or you are to break on a promise or something like this. Just so to give you an example here to make it more clear, uh, let's say that uh, you have taken on a project recently regarding your career and your boss is really counting on you. But here in the month of January, a, a new job, much more lucrative or even not much more, but even slightly more more lucrative but in the same time um, more exciting it's uh, it is presented to you you know and you will be baffled you know should you stay in and work into that project because you took a responsibility for it or you can simply make it go to hell for example you know and completely abandon it although that means that you are going to as well uh, let's say disapprove uh, this proof or rather I don't know how to say it really but um, let's say let like your boss disappointed previous boss because again he is counting on you and etc etc so something like this it is what is going to happen for you throughout the month and it is advisable here to think of uh, Take some time to deliberate upon what kind of a direction that you should take because this is a topic and it doesn't have to happen, all right? It, it, it means that you have to be very clear for yourself what you are going to do from now on and most importantly, can you live with your decision? That, is, uh, that was the, the sentence that I was searching for. Because here with the Seven of Swords and with the Lover's card, it does look like that you will opt 
to leave a battle that people are counting on you or to leave an enterprise or an undertaking that people are counting on you either relationship wise or career wise and it does look like that you are going to opt to do it with a, a less impact as possible upon those people or upon yourself but all in all as a topic it does look like capricorns that you, that, that is that are going to be um opting to uh, actually detach yourself from a, a certain situation career or relationship wise or maybe both the next card that we do have this is going to be the page of cups which is the best possible course of action with the four of swords so as we said about you should take your time to deliberate this is what these cards are pointing because before you actually decide how to take on uh, this specific decision that you need to do these cards are pointing that you should very carefully analyze what kind of positions you're gonna end up after uh, after you actually make your decision and for what it seems here if you kind of seek answers to that you know what kind of positions you're gonna take on after the decision if you lead the conversations with people that you are connected with you know if you make a negotiations as well and even if taking time on your own to think about it profoundly it looks like that you are going to be able to grasp a lot of what could happen should you stay or should you go because this is how I'm going to classify the decision although it may not be classified as that way to you but uh, this is a, this is just how I can uh, make it sound as an impactful as possible <clears throat> so yeah before you decide should you go or should you stay it will be important to know how that decision is going to uh to twist and uh, deform if i may express myself that way all the situations not just yours but also to those that you care about around you the page of cups here points that yeah definitely something needs to change okay but uh, that change is not gonna happen fast uh, or it cannot happen fast and should not happen fast if you want to make it a hundred percent success that is why we do have here the full card sitting on a negative position but we are going to go there in a minute the four of swords here actually is kind of making the page go colder and colder so it's kind of like a, making it more uh, reckless if I may express myself that way just think of how the wind impact water it it, it, dis it disrupts its stillness it disrupts its, uh, it, it, its softness as well and makes wave upon it so it kind of like makes you hectic it makes you reckless it makes you um, frantic as well with some extreme in some e extreme cases and that could very well make you do a, a wrong move so i'm not talking about wrong decisions but wrong moves because with the lover's card here whatever decision you have to make ultimately there is no right or wrong choice with the lover's card taken as a choice and uh, either way uh, you have pros and cons to bear so that's why ultimately how the mo how what month of february is going to be with you or for you will depend on what kind of a decision you make here in the month of january so that's why it's very important that you take the time in january to very carefully think of how your decision is going to impact others because for what it seems for others it is what this is um, this mainly relate uh, relates or the impact is going to be quite severe. Page of page of cups here asks you to really think of the grand scheme of things. Don't be selfish. Don't be uh, <clears throat> how can I say it? Well, not exactly calculative, but let's say ruthless. It's uh, it's in, because the page it always feels on its crest when it's emotionally connected so you cannot exclude completely the people around you and think of that you are going to be just fine on your own that is not going to be the case so uh that's why it will be important even if you decide you know to leave uh, as this is the decision that i made you know should you stay or leave these cards are pointing that with enough negotiations and enough uh, enough talks in between you and the people that you are uh, deciding to leave a good terms can be really established on that leaving so 
in case this is about the project I talked about, you know, you can talk with your boss, you can really reach a, a good terms with one another and you can leave your, your project with some conditions uh, that will actually benefit you and your boss is just don't be reckless and don't be premature when it comes to taking such an important decision because that is going to be an important decision and this is all about that is going on in the month of January for you Capricorn so you have to be careful about that um, the uh, full card here is the challenges that are causing predicaments with the magician card it is it does require the, the self-confidence that you are it, it does affect the self-confidence that you are going to have or <clears throat> and that will truly going to cause you um, troubles in future these are hidden predicaments all right it's not like you're gonna face a wall here uh what these cards are pointing is that your confidence of uh, <clears throat> the uh the chances of success if you prematurely break with your current undertaking and jump into the new one are, are the, what those cards are giving to you while the chances of success are way too uh, less than you are initially anticipating. These cards are pointing that if you take the leap of fate, you're most likely going to fail. That is uh, that is what those cards are showing. The magician card here with the full card as a challenge, as a predicament, it does point that you are not nearly ready for for what you want to initiate. You have to investigate more. You have to. Um, <clears throat> obtain more knowledge you have to obtain better skills you need to be way more determined than you are you need to be way uh, with way much more sovereignty or rather with personal um, resources so this thing is going to require far more resources than you think that you do have right now so if you think that let's say that you want to buy a house for yourself and you have a certain amount of resources when when you start researching uh, the market you are to find out that the good houses or the houses that you want to buy are way um, more expensive than than the resources that you do have and yet you may want to make that decision to go in a house in the month of January anyway so we're talking about a premature taking choice and then you end up in let's say failure because you are stuck with the house that you actually don't like but because you wanted to move you know at any costs well you do have your cost and it is more than you can actually know so that's why you have to be careful here and you need to be really grounded when it comes to making these major steps because that is going to be a very fateful turn around okay when you once you make your choice here and once you take or once you take your part there is no going back. It's, it, it's, it's not kind of like you can see that you don't like it and you can say, oh, okay, so I'm going to jump back into my previous job or in my previous relationship. If this is about breaking up with relationship or going into relationship for that matter, all right? Because that could be as well where you have a person of interest right and you so much want to be with them although your friends are telling you not to rush it that much and that you should consider certain circumstances but you can pretty disregard that going to that relationship and then you will realize that you cannot just break it for one or another reason so you have to be very careful here to take you know the part that you truly want so that that month of January should be a month where you uh, research for yourself is what you are about to do exactly what you want to do and are you prepared enough to do it as well that is important because as well the full card here into the predicaments may show or may create an impression into you that actually the undertaking you are to jump in and leave everything everything else to fall apart and it, it looks kind of carefree and very exhilarated you know and that you are going to have fun you will have a margin of time to get used to it no you won't it's actually quite serious according to these cards so you have to be very much aware of your capabilities and your capabilities needs to match the requirements of what that undertaking has 
that's why we do have the Knights of Pentacles here into the uh, with the Ace of Pentacles as well into the Guidance card and these are pointing exactly about preparations first of all the Knights of Pentacles is asking you to be very strict and very simplistic you should not think way too much sophisticated maneuvers when it comes to making that kind of a decision on top of that the Ace of Pentacles here it first urges you to ask what is in there for you actually to make an accurate diagnosis how much you're gonna benefit if you leave everything behind and jump into this new undertaking here and on top of that Capricorns it asks you how harmonious that thing is going to be and that's why you have to actually be very grounded here be very simplistic and as well define for yourself how much determined you are to to initiate in uh, in general now if i have to follow the general um the general interpretation and the fact that we do have double word cards here these cards as a guidance um, is pointing that all this here is a temptation all right you have a choice which is an illusion of choice and once you try to detach you will see that you made the wrong decision so these as a guidance are I are highly advising you not to give yourself away to the temptation but just stick to what you know to be true and what you know to be secure so you have to clinch into the month of January into a, a solid relationships and into solid businesses rather than to experiment with new found undertakings that you actually have no warranties how they are going to turn out for you they may turn out great they may not but in in as i said to you um either of those decisions should you stay or go has its equal pros and cons and uh, according to these cards it is better to stick to what you know and what you can predict rather than to something that you it, it is completely unknown to you and the last card here, which is the Eight of Cups with the Ten of Pentacles, <clears throat> is uh, quite uh, actually quite broad. So what these cards here are pointing uh, literally is that your investments at the end are going to uh, give an, an appropriate result. Again, your investments are what it, are what to give their appropriate results. So. <clears throat> The Eight of Cups as well with the Ten of Pentacles, it is pointing that some fresh wind is going to come around. Even if you decide to stay in whatever relationship or a project or career, or, you know, depending on your personal situation, even into that place, there will be an improvement here with the Eight of Cups. Because what these cards here, Ten of Pentacles and the, Ace, and the Eight of Cups are pointing, that the investments, even, even until this very moment, are kind of like seem as a way that now much brighter perspective for those investments emerges so you Capricorn could expect improvement throughout the months at the end and I'm quite happy that we do have the ten of pentacles here because if we had a, a bit different card uh, let's say four of pentacles that wouldn't be so great all right but ten of pentacles is actually pointing that the very least you capricorn either taking that decision or not taking that decision you're going to find a, a much better way to actually spend your resources as time and as a uh, you know as money for example as a uh, knowledge performance as well skills and etc etc so this is a little bit detached from the decision either way you know it, things are gonna go forward for you and you will kind of like straight upwards from the pit from the pit excuse me but how good that will be or how beneficial that will be will this depend on actually what kind of a path you take so either way things are gonna get best, best for you and as this is takes me back into the beginning where I said you know there is no right or wrong decision you know you you have to basically take the um, the pros and the cons from either of them you make so that will be completely personalized what i mean is that it will 
depend on personal preferences if you are not happy uh, with your situation right now uh, what is there for you to lose you know you just have to go into this new undertaking and and give your best shot in there or if you are quite happy right now into your situation why should you jeopardize it with something that you don't know what is going to present you in general all right so for those kind of people who are happy with their life this is going to be a temptation for those who are feeling very despondent at that point month of january is going to be a month of salvation so that being said guys this was uh, your monthly tarot reading for capricorn uh, and uh, as i said that was a general reading so i did here my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but at the end it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you just like i did here in the examples of the in for the examples in this in this video that is the subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a full list of my services as well as their pricing rod signing out now see you next time bye